How's it going, YouTube? It is Jafer, and I'm back with another look at a newly released mouse. And before I really get into it, you know, what you're seeing right now on your screen is really some of my favorite mice, and they're all by one company, and that's Logitech. Logitech G's family of mice, uh, really, I don't know, they seem to always hit on point with everything that I'm looking for, whether it's the G703, the G305, which is really popular right now. Uh, of course, the wireless pro, and then you also have your standard wired one. This one I paracorded. This is the hero edition with the newest sensor and then the classic uh, G303 or as the kids call it, the shroud mouse. Um, but one that always kind of stuck in my memory from playing like Unreal Tournament 2004 as well as Counter-Strike 1.6. And I think even when I was playing like Age of Empires and Roller Coaster Tycoon, was the MX518 and Logitech decided to bring it right back out. Um, they released it in China last year and then they just recently brought this back out into the US and I believe Canada um, just this past month. So I want to go ahead and really kind of dive into it a little bit and see if it's the right mouse for you. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so, yep, once again, like I said, uh, they just recently came out with this mouse as a reboot from their classic M10 and then the G400. Uh, this is definitely a palm grip mouse, though. So, myself, I'm more fingertip, and you can definitely use it for fingertip or claw. It's just that I think you're going to struggle more so than someone that's a palm grip because this is like almost the ultimate palm grip mouse. It really is. Um, it's just the, the actual curvature is very ergonomic for a palm grip. And it's not a bad thing at all if you do want to try this with a different grip. Just know that with it being a larger mouse and it's really designed for a particular grip, you might struggle a little bit. So keep that in mind. Uh, the MX518 Legendary Edition is $59.99. It is sold out right now on Logitech's website. I actually had an order for them. And because Logitech goes through Digital River, which is a complete trash of a, uh, of a company, uh, it took forever for me to actually cancel my order because Amazon had it in stock. Now, fast forward to the recording of this video. Amazon will have it in stock at a later date, so you can still order this. And I'll leave a link in the description below if you are interested at the end of the video. Uh, but going into the specs on this guy, it is the Hero Sensor, okay? Because, you know, the old one, oh my god, I can't even remember if that sensor was even something that had a name. Because the mouse is, what, from 2005, uh, the year I graduated high school. So yes, I'm old, just like the original mouse. It does have a new color scheme, which is the Nightfall. You can kind of see the reflection of it a little bit. Granted, you kind of see the RGB of my computers more so than that. But it does have that starry effect. And I really, really like it. It looks really nice. Despite not being a big fan of glossy mice, this does look really good. Because it fades from that gray silver into a jet black. So, really nice, sharp looking uh, color scheme. And then the rest of the mouse is going to be all black. And then going from there, uh, internally, you do have some onboard memory that you can save up the five profiles on. And so if you ever want to take this on the go uh, to a LAN event or anything like that, you can do so with ease because it's going to save all your profiles. And you can either use the old Logitech G software that a lot of people are still sticking to or the new G Hub. Uh, they did the official launch on the G Hub not long ago, so it's actually not terrible anymore but um i see why a lot of people are sticking to the old software when it comes to customizing this and customizing it um you do have on the fly dpi as they call it so essentially you can change your dpi settings from these two buttons here so you can go from different increments that are defaulted in the software or out of the box which i think is like 400 800 uh 1600 and 3200 or you can adjust that if you want within the software. And then if you want to go back and revert to your default DPI that you're used to, you just hit this button here. Um, do I think that having three DPI buttons is a little excessive in 2019? Yeah, I would say so. But Logitech definitely wanted to stick to really what, the, what made the old mouse so popular. So I can see why they didn't want to stray from that. 
Um, this mouse is heavy, just like your old mice. It is 101 grams. But to most people, anything hovering around 100 grams is a safe bet. I don't have a problem with something that's 100 grams. Anything that's like 120, uh, like the recently reviewed Cooler Master, as well as the G502, the Steel Series 710, those I do have difficulties with. I know it's only 20 grams, but when you're used to something like the Final Mouse or the G Pro Wireless, it's really hard to use a mouse that's almost double the weight. So 101 grams isn't bad though. It is average. Uh, and then you do have eight programmable buttons. So besides the three buttons here, you have your mouse one and two, you have your wheel that clicks in, and then you also have your side buttons here. And the back side button is going to be a little larger. So if it's something that you use a lot, make sure you program it to the larger button because the top, or I'm sorry, the top, the front one is a little smaller. It's still reachable, so it's not really an issue. Um, and it's, you know, the ergonomics of the mouse is what made it so popular. And they stuck true to that on this side. Not so much on this side. Now, I know that, you know, they stuck to it, but I do not like this ridge right here. And um, I don't wear rings, but if I was to wear a ring, it would definitely rub up against this ridge. And uh, I'm just not a fan of it. I, I think that this kind of takes away from the rest of the mouse that's so ergonomic. I don't really understand what the purpose of the ridge is. Maybe for those that do a lot of lift off, you're able to kind of grab the ledge right there with the tip of your finger and go from there. Either way though, um, it's not comfortable. And you know, I don't really use palm a whole lot, but even going into a palm grip, I kind of have to put my finger here in order to avoid that ridge. So that's the only problem I have with that. Um, other than that though, the only other issue is really the scroll wheel um it feels really loose there's like i don't know it's compared to other mice uh scroll wheels with logitech you know you the g pro feels really really solid and then you also have um what i actually like is the 703 the 703 has a really nice scroll wheel as well it's large even has rgb in it Granted, this mouse is RGB free, so anyone that's really into that, keep that in mind. You're not going to get RGB. But going back to the wheel, um, it just seems kind of flimsy, and uh, it's kind of disappointing. Like, honestly, it's to the point where if I'm playing Apex with this, I'm changing my default setting of my pinging to something else just because it just does not feel good at all. And, uh, you know, if they wanted to stick to the nature of the old mice, that I get once again, but at the same time, I think our standards and expectations on mice do change as technology evolves. And uh, the scroll wheel is definitely something that's evolved to something a lot better than this. Um, other than that though, uh, you do have a rubber cable that Logitech is starting to come out with more and more, uh, just like their revamped G Pro Wired Hero Edition. It's very thin and flexible. I will say though, when I did order it, um, let me grab, I did grab myself some mouse feet and a paracord cable because I just love paracording. Mice, it just always, always just seems so much better with how flexible the cord is over even their new rubberized standard cables. Uh, but if you're someone that doesn't want to mod it, have no fear. This is still a great cable. And then on the bottom. You have the same mouse feet from the old mouse. So two large pads. You have one around the sensor and then one right here on the side because, you know, if you're using a bigger mouse like this, there's going to be pressure right along here. So the mouse feet are fine. I tested it on four different types of surfaces with no issues. So you won't have any problems there. Um, Hyper glides, do, I could be wrong. I don't believe they make the MX. 518 mouse feet so people order the g400 mouse feet and then they just kind of plant them on the bottom so if you're someone that needs to have different mouse feet keep that in mind as well i could be wrong let me know in the comments if i am but i believe that's right um other than that though it's you know your standard thousand hertz mouse that you can adjust and the one of the nice things about logitech that i don't think a lot of people bring up is that uh it does come with a two-year warranty uh razor has 
an awful warranty and with steel series i've heard there's always a lot of issues with getting in contact and having your ticket submitted for a warranty exchange i've never had issues with logitech so that's why i do love them so much is because uh, their customer service is great as well as their warranty um so i guess you could say the only things that uh i don't like is really going to be the ridge here and then that scroll wheel those are my only issues with it uh you know other than that it's really the same great mouse with new technology and lastly the older mice did have a rubberized grip here that would wear down and it would be gunky and grow oh it was nasty like you could see the film of the rubber start to come off they did change that this is hard textured plastic now and it feels good i don't, I don't necessarily need grip tape or grip on every single mouse uh as long as it works for the form of the mouse itself so but other than that, guys, uh, I do recommend this if you do have a palm grip. Again, uh, forewarning, if you are claw or fingertip, might be a little difficult to use. But other than that, that is it. I'm going to leave a link in the description below uh, that does support the channel if you do end up buying the mouse on Amazon through that link. And I do appreciate it. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching. Take care.